What's happened, Dave? Oh, what, what a, a crackhead. Good morning, you absolute lovelies. Good morning, good looking man. Good morning, Mr. Spunky. Where are we going? Amsterdam's. Woo! We can't go too mad in Dam because obviously we are driving and we're going to be doing it in a day. So it's a 24 hour trip to Amsterdam. It's not actually very far. We kind of jump on the train in Folkestone, which takes 35 minutes under the, uh, under the tunnel to get to Calais. And then it's roughly about three hours from Calais to Amsterdam, but we can probably make that about two hours, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll quickly give you guys a demonstration of the acceleration. <laughs> hey. Yes, it is pretty quick, David. 700 brakes. So what's been done to this? Because you don't really need to, to do yeah. much to them, do you? Uh, air filter and an APR stage one. Stock exhaust? Yeah, 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 that's what's quite, yeah. Yeah. Because these are kind of made like for Autobahn, they really do sort of suck up the speed. You don't get that speed sensation, but they're massively quick. It's like an F1 car, but then, yeah, you've got your lounge surrounding you. Yeah. Whole idea with Amsterdam today is just a nice little day trip for Dave and I. We've been working really hard. Dave's been working really hard, and we just want to kind of get out of the country for a day and go and see the delights of Amsterdam. Our ferry's actually due at 7.20, so we're actually 15 minutes late already, but something tells me we're gonna get there on time. We'll be at the train station in about 45 minutes, so we'll see you guys very shortly. There's our, Almost. <laughs> there's our little ticket. Yeah, we ju just about made it. <laughs> Almost. We've got a sign for France. We're not quite in France yet. We currently, uh, Dave and I managed to get lost already. Yeah. <laughs> What's happened, Dave? Um, well, we've got to passport control and we're missing something. <laughs> Monkey's an absolute idiot and he's forgotten his passport. Very kindly, this lady's letting us take a picture of it and we can hopefully get through. Yeah. We made it, man. High five. We just managed to blag the French police. Yeah. All right, we're going to head on to the train. Happy days. While we are waiting for the train, I'm going to give you guys a quick little cinematic tour of Dave's car. Hi, everybody. If you guys have never seen the Euro tunnel, what we're on now. It's quite tight as well. The RS6 is quite a sort of chunky car. The train will be leaving in about 10 minutes and it only takes 35 minutes to cross. I think it's about an hour to an hour and a half on the ferry. We shall see you guys in France. It looks exactly the same as where we just left, but that is France. You just said start your car, engage launch control. <laughs> we can do a door to 60. <laughs> Jump back in the old RS6. Fingers crossed we can actually get through passport control. Because that French guy was kind of, he was way too smiley. And if we do make it, it's basically into France, and then we drive into Belgium, and then on into the Netherlands. It's quite a cool drive, it's like motorway, and you can kind of put your foot down a bit. Right, we are in France. We didn't actually realise there's no passport control once you get off the train so we've actually made it it's just whether we're actually going to make it back but yeah, might never get home but we're like, <laughs> we are here we're sorry here. sorry babe first thing we're going to do is just top her up with a little bit of super unedited and then crack on bit of french motorway remember dave what side do we drive on uh left <laughs> no and the first thing you notice as soon as we're in france everybody sticks in the inside lane they're all in the slow lane if they want to overtake they go into the overtaking lane and then they go back into the inside lane so if you're british and you're watching this and you're a middle lane wanker please follow our european counterparts we've got a little race going on bmw 6 series it's about 70. <laughs> Pierre is fucking on it, man. 75. Mate, he is desperate for that baguette, isn't he? <laughs> Don't worry, I do love French people. There's always been that sort of English-French bands, hasn't there? It's a bit of comedy. Journey is going pretty well for you guys. Look here, we're actually just going through Brussels, which is pretty cool. If I kind of zoom out, there's Antwerp. That's where we started in Calais and that's Amsterdam there. So it's not actually a hugely long journey. With normal sort of driving, it's about three and a half hours. One and a half hours left to go, so probably in our time about an hour. Amsterdam coming up. Oh look, we've got a cheeky little club diet. Double decker bus. Oh, what a crackhead. <laughs> look at these dickheads. 
Oh mate, watch out everyone, racing driver. Look at the size of this shopping center. It literally goes miles all the way back there. Pretty crazy. We've got approximately 13 minutes, a little bit of traffic as well, but should be cool. We're off the motorway and onto a normal road. Just got on the right, driving yeah. the right, driving the right, Dave, driving the right. Here we are coming into Amsterdam. You guys can start to see they have a huge amount of bikes here. Bikes actually take priority, don't they, over cars? Apparently so, yeah. Because in England you can run them over. Needs two, Jay. I think we found the parking, man. This has got to be it, innit? Yes. It is tight around here, isn't it? Shit. Our first bit of Holland. We are at the NH collection. Hopefully it's not too expensive. Fucking hell, if we're in the S14. We just winged it, done a dug it. No, we'd be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think we found our car parking space a little bit tight. We just about managed to squeeze the Audi in. Oh, we made it. Here we go. Very first sighting of a canal. Fancy a swim? Yeah, come on then. <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is have a little walk around and try and find somewhere to eat. Yes. Last time we were here, Dave was sleep sleeping on the floor and got told to get up by a policeman. I definitely wasn't asleep. <laughs> <laughs> a massive different array of shops in Dam. Obviously famous for Dams and for... Bicycles. <laughs> yeah, and bicycles. Oh look, just spotted a John emoji. Our first little stop is a place called Grizzle. It's going to have some cheeky burgers. <laughs> Hello. I feel better now. Have you ever seen a rubber ducky store? No, no, but I want to have, I want to have a further <laughs> inspection. Many rubber ducks can be had. Over there we have um, Amsterdam, I think Central Square they call it. Hello, birdies. One hour later. There we go, that's our first ever Tram sighting. As much as Dave's a massive unit, he's a cold unit right now. So we're gonna go and see if we can just find a pair of gloves and a hat for him. Got my missus a nice little teddy bear. Dave got his missus a penis it's a magnet. Fridge magnet. <laughs> Thanks man. Right. If you guys look down here, this is obviously a canal. You can tell that because there's water in it. So we got the bulldog. Let's go and have a look inside. Me and Monsieur Dave, we're going to try and find a, a boat. Nice yeah. to meet you. Where are we? On a boat. There's the water for proof. Thanks very much, man. Go, man. You enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome, man. Thanks, Lisa. See you soon. Well, I lost the power of speech. <laughs> We just found Busy Street. Busy Street, whoa. We are literally freezing. So we're gonna go and just have a little coffee and try not to get killed by cyclists. And I'm gonna charge my camera up because... You forgot the battery. I forgot my battery, woo! Dave still feels like he's on the boat, man. I'm having my coffee. A few coffees have been had and we are feeling much better. Right, so we're gonna go to Rent-a-bike. Here we go, rent-a-bike. It closes in two hours, so we can't get lost or lose the bikes. On the menu today, we have chosen... Which ones did we choose? Handbrakes. Let's do this, Davey. Uh, Mine's got two, Jay. Quickly just inspect the goods, just in case of any insurance claims. Pretty sick. Let's check out the lock. Oh, yeah, that's got some serious... That's got wise fans. <laughs> I can't stop very quickly, so... Don't crash into that Tesla, man. Watch out, Polizia. Be polite, be polite, be polite. <laughs> Fucking hell, careful. Why are you waving at the locals? Wow, indicate, very late indicating. <laughs> I just spotted a cute dog. Hello. Oh, your dog's cute, man. <laughs> I would do a wheelie, but it's going to be an instant face palm. Up here we have the central station. Oh, how majestic. Well, I'm definitely a lot warmer now. Wigging it, wigging it, wigging it through a red light. Like a G6. Ah! There's a bus! <laughs> Quite interesting as well, the guy on the boat was saying in the next two years they're going to go fully electric in the city. I'm not sure if we're actually meant to be riding with the pedestrians. <laughs> oh shit! Watch out Dave! <laughs> How cold are you? Yeah. <laughs> Look at my hands. Oh my feet. I've just realised I've got gear. Shit, man, are you pedaling like a madman for the last 20 minutes? Lovely old building. Oh, look, we're back to the pigeon place. Hey, hey, hey. Why'd you make me go down there, man? Oh. Terrible. Oh, man, I made a wrong turn again. Where are we going, Dave? I think we need a five-minute breather. 
five minutes later. Okay, we've had a little rest. We're gonna crack on, get rid of me bike stand. Yeehaw! Many red lights, we'll carry on. One thing I will say, Dave, it's been really nice on the bikes because we've kind of seen loads of the city in what, a couple of hours? I would definitely advise renting a bike if you come to Amsterdam. Proper good way to see the city. <laughs> There's the old bulldog which Dave definitely didn't make me go in earlier. The rules here are pretty mad. You can't actually work out if you're meant to be cycling, not cycling, driving, walking. It's a bit of a free for all. We've just realized it's actually 10 to six and the guy shut shop at six. So we need to be pretty quick. If I told you it was the opposite direction, what would you say? I'm not surprised. <laughs> so yeah, we have just been cycling for 20 minutes the wrong way. Hopefully this guy isn't gonna lose the plot as we are currently late. This looks very familiar, Dave. Whoa. Whoa! It's like a fucking mobile gardener in the city. I hope it's down here, man, because we have been cycling for ages. Right, we're only 10 minutes late, so I think we blagged it, and they're still open. Happy days. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, that has definitely revitalised said spirits. Highly recommended. Rent a bike for the win. Right, we've just discovered what the uh, mobile gardeners are actually. They're <laughs> the wheelbarrow bikes. <laughs> the wheelbarrow bikes are actually for children. Safety first. Yeah, so, so keep the kids so in the front. If, so if you crash, at least your children die before you. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Dave and I are probably just going to grab a little bit of food, I think, try and replenish our energy. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How have you enjoyed the trip so far? Yeah, right, man. It's yeah. so bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very comfortable. Nice to get away in it. Yeah. Dave and I are just going to grab a couple of coffees and have a bit of food. Maybe you can get some more stuff to go with your uh, penis key ring. Magnetic willy. <laughs> we'll go and find a couple of cheeky other gifts. While we're here as well, Dave says that this place called Body World, pretty cool. Apparently actual human models. Real dead people. No, it's over here. <laughs> Wait, we just came from there, man. Okay. Yeah, that's because you don't know fucking <laughs> north from south. I'm trying, man. It's the Googles fucking me up. Oh, look at that. Yeah. What? Hi. <laughs> oh, they were cool. Where's Body World? Oh, I said. Real human. Ugh. Sounds scary, man. It's not scary, guys. Okay. So, what's the score? We're trying to, we've got free entry. Yeah. The only thing that you have to do for a free entry is make an Instagram post with hashtag Body Worlds Challenge. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Yeah. All right, guys. Proper card in. I've got free entrance. Yes. <laughs> One thing I'm going to say first is it's much warmer in here. Starts. Oh, yeah, so you went down. Oh, I'm happy, man. High five to happiness. Yeah. Woo! Hey, that looks like cauliflower. Meaty cauliflower. So that's the central nervous system. Our life is what our thoughts make it. So think positive and positive stuff will happen. Almost looks a bit like Freddy Krueger. Like a couple of maybe gymnasts. <laughs> Guys here, sort of northern Europe, UK is there, which is pretty, pretty happy. Very controversial map, nonetheless. Body world completed it. This is uh, this is the in body experience, and over here you can uh, measure your muscles, body weight, water balance, oh, check how healthy you are. Is it going to tell me I'm really weak? I don't know, man. <laughs> 78 out of 100. Is that any good? Yeah, that's good. Listen to this. Yeah, it said I'm really healthy. It means you're in shape. It's dying. Yeah, I'm in shape. Yeah. Uh, your water balance is fine, so you should you should drink more beer. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not driving as well, so I'll take your advice. Place your bets. Here you go. Dave just came out. You are proper healthy. 101 out of 100 points. <laughs> There's two people, man. <laughs> I thought there was something wrong with you. Well there you have it, both healthy, well, one superhuman healthy and one healthy, so I'll take the healthy. I think we need a cheeky macca, sir Dave. Dave and I are having a little bit of a, a posh meal. I quite like mussels, man. I might be naughty and have a, have a steak. Oh, look at that nice bit of steak, nice bit of burger. I'm not going to film us eating. Okay. I'll treat you because you've been a babe and you drove. Better, uh, definitely feel better. Right, well, what time is it now, Dave? I'm time. Oh, man. We've had a proper little adventure, haven't we? Yeah. Right, let's do one more crossing and see if we can make it again. No more bikes, please. Yeah. Ah. One last stop. Dunkin' Donuts! Woo. Cheeky donut. That's probably why I'm a 78 and you're a 101, Dave. There you go. Look at that, man. Oh, can we not take that up? Well, no. Oh, it's a sick, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, great. Look what's parked next to us. A massive car. This is pretty nice. Car. Cool. That's a bit of me, that is. Do like that, not gonna lie. Yeah, keep coming. Full left. That's it, look at that. That's it. It's a nice car, this man. Really does look good in the old, uh, the old maroon. To be fair, they kind of engineered this car not to scrape car parks because it's 
yeah. spot on basically. Is it? Yeah. Oh, back in the old luxury German whip. Rear camera has definitely seen a bit of road debris. Yeah, <laughs> to give that a clear go. There we go. How many miles is it? Mm. 228. How fast can this go? 190? Yeah, thereabouts, about an hour and a half. Yeah, about an hour and a half. half. Sick. We literally just come out of that place we went into earlier. Oi, oi, what's up, geezer? <laughs> it's kind of cool earlier when we were going down the canal and the guy was like going through. I mean, I was slightly in incapac incapacitated, but um, but yeah, some of the houses are like all crooked and pretty cool, man. There's a lot of kind of history and a lot of sort of cool stuff behind Amsterdam. It's literally like there's death from every angle. We're going into the red light district, man. Where are we going? Where are you taking oh, me, man? The fucking which way is taking me? <laughs> right, thank you, Google Maps. We got out. To be fair, it was a bit confusing because it looked yeah. like a one way, didn't it? But it wasn't. We can yeah, actually come so. down this right. road. As Bo confirmed. After my screen wash rant the other day, screen wash they tried to charge me eight pounds in the UK at the petrol station, and I said no. How much was that charger? 118 quid. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> I've got the receipt. You fucking right. Oh, that was the fuel. Oh, this was the cheaper one of the two at ten pounds ninety nine. Bear in mind, I have just bought one in fucking pound stretcher <laughs> for one pound and left it at work. The RS6 has been really pure, proper nice wagon. I couldn't really have asked for a better car. What happened, Dave? Oh, fucking blagged it! The guy was, was really fucking... nice, wasn't he? Yeah, really pleasant. Because what did he say? Really, I should make you go and cancel your passport yeah, and get a new one. You've been a star, thank you. Fist bump for driving, man. And we had a really nice day, thank yeah, you so it's much. Been sick, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video as well. A little bit different just to sort of shoot off the dam for the day. Alright, we have made it. Red light, and yeah, once the light goes green, we shall be boarding the train. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Bye from Mr. Dave, so I've fist you five times. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, bye from Spunky, and we will see you guys in a few days.